Vernon having trouble getting out of their own end here. The Warriors doing a good job for checking to keep that puck inside of the offensive zone. Nordstrom around to the right corner. Bush, the 17-year-old, will get it up the wall. Right side now held on by Hilditch. Hilditch right point. Shuffled down low. Lockberg back door. Here's Nordstrom to the net. What a save by David. The rebound scores. Jackson Kierkostas following up on the play. Puts it home on the backhand. And the Warriors take a 1-0 lead. 7-10 into the opening period. Warriors got the rebound they were looking for, but Nordstrom just couldn't take the handle. Thrown back in now down below the goal line. Look out, a giveaway in front. Lockberg scores! Oh, a miscommunication by the Vipers inside of their own zone. They give the puck up on the glove side of David and a wicked backhand by Lockberg from inside the left faceoff circle beats David on the glove side. Lockberg's got the marker, his sixth of the season, and the Warriors take a 2-0 lead. Just out of the reach of Hilditch and brought back the other way by the Vipers. Nice job by Farrell to hold that puck on side and negate what could have been a three-on-two rush. Barrett in the corner. Tied up there by Lockberg. Given up by the Vipers. And a chance. Kirkostas back door. Scores! Johannes Lockberg's got his second of the game. And the Warriors have a 3 0 lead, taking advantage of another Viper turnover inside of the defensive zone. Just a terrific feed from Kirkostas, who picked that puck off. Warriors going from left to right on your radio dials here in the third. Right are the Vipers. And the Warriors have. 19 seconds remaining of a penalty kill to try and kill off here to begin the third period. Puck back down inside of the Warriors zone. Down below the goal line, a centering pass comes right in front. Put to the net, stopped by Appleby. The rebound, loose scores. And it's Shea Bush in the left face-off circle on a scramble at the front of the net that has the marker. Bush gathers his fifth of the season, and the Vipers are on the board with seven seconds to go on the power play. Vernon gets a power play marker and makes it a 3-1 game. Back into the right wing corner now of their own zone. Nice job there by Caden Kim Karen Humble on the four check, knocking into a man. Owen Kim gave the puck up inside the blue line. Brendan Nelson trying to work his man wide. He beats him, cuts in right circle, and a right pad saved by David. Comes loose back along to the right side now at the blue line. Landon Hilditch put it on. Went off a body. Puck comes loose. High slot. Jack Farrell scores! Tipped in front. Farrell put the shot on. Kim Karen Humble at the side of the net. Might have got the deflection. Right now it looks like it's Farrell. And it looks like it's his first in the BC Hockey League. And the Warriors lead it 4-1. Remaining in regulation. Appleby leaves it there. Miles will take this behind his goal. And we'll just elect to wind this clock down as the time ticks down and this game is over. 26 saves from Rorick Appleby. Two goals from Johannes Lockberg. And the Warriors come into Vernon and defeat the Vipers on the road. 4-1 the final score. Win number 13 on the season for the Warriors. And an excellent effort here tonight. They're the only team to beat the Vipers in regulation here at Cal Tire Place. And they've done it twice.